Hey, you. Yes, you. What comes to your mind when I say Holland? Just cheese? Just take a look in that cheese. Yes, go on. Have a good look. The Netherlands uh, um, is a small country. It's on the North Sea. It's only 300 kilometers long and 200 kilometers wide. The word Netherlands means lowlands, and they're low all right. The west of the country is even lower than the sea. Fortunately, we've got strong dunes holding back the sea. But there are also stretches of coast without any dunes. So the Dutch had to build dikes. Sea dikes. River dikes. Big dikes. And little dikes. These dikes enabled us to turn bits of sea into land using windmills to pump away the water enclosed. The stretch of land you create like this is called a polder. Nowadays we have electric pumps to get rid of the water. Windmills are still built, but these days they're used to generate electricity. To protect the country against floods, big dams have been built in Zeeland and at the mouth of the Eiselmeer. The harbour of Rotterdam's Europort is closed off by two huge sliding doors when the water levels get too high. When you fly over the Netherlands, it looks like patchwork and sometimes like a painting by Mondrian, the very famous Dutch artist. In spring, tulips bloom in abundance. Tourists come from all over the world to see them. Lots of flowers are sold at auction and exported. Ah. Most flowers grow in greenhouses, and so do all kinds of vegetables. Much of the country is covered by meadows, but there are also fields of potatoes, sugar beet and corn. The big cities and industrial areas are in the west. So are the main motorways. But there are also nature reserves, like the Wadden Sea. Birds come from all over the world to nest or spend the winter there. This is a protected area, like all the woods. Don't panic, it's only a cow. The Netherlands has four million cows. They're kept for their milk, which we use to make... Right, cheese. There's also one and a half million sheep. Thirteen million pigs. Ninety-eight million hens. One and a half million dogs. And two million cats. The ordinary Dutch live in all kinds of houses in towns and villages. Lots live in Amsterdam, the capital. Or in Rotterdam, another big city full of modern buildings.
some people live in windmills or castles in houseboats or fairy tale palaces like Sleeping Beauty. The Dutch are mad about sports. Time to get up. The Dutch start their day with breakfast. But then everyone goes their own way. Jan first. Then the children are off to school. Mieke is the last to leave. Jan works in the port of Rotterdam. Zanne is five and in the second year of primary school. Peter is 12 and in year eight. Next year he'll be going to high school. Ellen is 15 and she's already in high school. Dutch children have to go to school until they're 16. For lunch, the Dutch like sandwiches. All kinds. Meat, peanut butter, ham, cucumber, chocolate confetti, tomato, and of course, cheese. Ah. In the evening, they have a hot meal. Potatoes, meat, and plenty of vegetables. After dinner, most people watch television. The NAVO and the VN Vluchteling and Organisatie will Oh, do their homework. And then it's time for bed. Sweet dreams, Anna. summer, schools close for about six weeks. Holiday time. The great thing about living in a flat country is that cycling is so easy. Most of the Dutch love amusement parks. Some days are public holidays and everyone gets the day off. On the 30th of April, the Dutch celebrate the Queen's birthday. The whole country is decorated with red, white and blue flags, and you can see that the Queen belongs to the House of Orange. The 5th of December is a special day for children. Sinterklaas, St. Nicholas, sails to the Netherlands in his steamship, and he and his helpers give everyone sweets and presents. At the end of the year, the Dutch welcome the new year with a big bang. Well, little friend, did you enjoy the journey? And have you learnt a lot about Holland? Good. Good. Now, one more time. What comes into your mind when I say Holland? <laughs>